Okay, so now that you've watched What the Bleep Do We Know, and you've watched my Dr. Emoto, so you know that uh, quantum physics shows that um, all these little bits, these little particles, are actually in waveform with infinite possibilities, what I would call timelines. So if you pick this little bit, and what they say is they collapse it on that particular particle, then that creates the result that that scientist who's looking at it um, believes that that particle is. So that particle is actually here, based on they they looked at it, so it's there. But when they're not looking at it, there's infinite possibilities, which makes a wave of of infinite options. Now it's not just particles; those particles make up everything. So when you're looking at everything, there are infinite possibilities that you get to choose based on what you want, what you believe, and it kind of collapses into this moment in time that is your belief that this is accurate and true and this is the way it is at this moment of time. Like those scientists collapse those particles into looking at it and going, okay, well, here it is, not looking at a wave of infinite possibilities. You have infinite possibilities all at once based on your belief systems. You go to one of those possibilities, collapse on time, here you are in the moment. Tomorrow you get to choose the next one. Actually, you're changing them all the time, as I've said before. Now let's look at this thing from that perspective of tiny little particles to multiverses and the creation of this dualistic in this dualistic nature. Now your body is made up of molecules. Each one of those molecules has a consciousness. It gets to decide where it's going to go, what it's going to do. So in essence, you are a group consciousness. You are. You are a consciousness of not only this body, but of several other layers of body that are all made up of, let's say, these little tiny particles that you make the ultimate decision, that they put input in, and you speak as one, and you think of you as being one, when in reality, you are a group consciousness. So if you go to somebody like uh, Esther Hicks, who is a channel for and a um, group of entities, a collective, who talk to you, and you go, ooh, a collective. Well, you are a collective. You are a collective. You are also part of the collective that is planet Earth. Planet Earth is a collective, a part of the solar system. The solar system is part of a collective, and on and on and on it goes. That is how we are all tied together. Where you are and all that is, is just simply based on what you're focusing at. Now you could disengage from this collective that is this body and these layers of body. That's what happens when you die. And all these consciousness, these bits and pieces of consciousness will kind of go... And they'll go different ways, or they may all stick together. You may go be in physical form somewhere else. But understand, you are a collective of all the consciousness, of all the cells and all the particles that are in your body. You're part of collective in that moment. You're, you're kind of the god of this, of all of those little cells. All those cells are made up of molecules. You're the god of, you decide which direction things are going. Now they have input, and that's how it gets very, very, very confusing, which is why there is the rule that nothing can be done against any consciousness will. Otherwise, all of this layer upon layer upon layer upon layer would go very kawinky very fast because we are, are all tied together. So think about that for a bit. You are a collective. You are a collective. You are not a single consciousness at all. You are a collective of many consciousnesses. You, are, you also have input in the consciousness that is uh, this planet and beyond. Okay? Alright? So it's all tied together. 
in those waves of infinite possibilities. And when I talk to the star seeds, what there's there's instinctually you would know this. And all I'm trying to do is get a message to the star seeds because there's a lot of messages to everybody else. You've got a lot of people out there who are talking to the fourth dimensional um, angels and ascended masters and aliens all over the place. They're already out there. You know, I don't need to be doing that. I don't need to introduce you guys to fourth dimensional aliens. Um, but what I will do is I will tell you that you can vibrate in such a way that you will see and interact with them. Just like you, like you will vibrate, you can vibrate on a way that you can see and interact with magical beings on 5D Earth in physical form. And you can vibrate in such a way that you can get outside of time-space and go wherever you want to. All of that is a matter of vibrating so that you match whatever it is you want to do. No matter what it is. And I think all of it is good. All of it is good. All of it is beautiful. All of it is pertinent. But most of the star seeds are tired. Have They don't want to do the hurt experience, pain experience anymore. Valid. It's good. It worked in the hole. You know how I feel about mine. If you watch my videos. But they want to go to something else. So I'm simply trying to give you data to help you vibrate differently in the who that you are as a part of the all it is in order to in order to get to a different um, reality to get yourself different options along that wave that you no longer are stuck in uh, believing that your options are that they are part and party to despair, fear, worry, judgment. Because you don't have to stay there in those vibrations. You don't have to. You can move outside of them. But as I've said before, you cannot look at the present with pain, despair in front of you. Look at it, believe in it, know that it's there, and change it for tomorrow. You have to understand that that's simply what you created. That's where you went to yesterday. That's what you tuned yourself to already. But you're tuning yourself to something else. So look forward to it and tweak that vibration happier and happier and happier. And you get to move along in a different direction in this collective or outside of this collective or with a different collective. Maybe you're going to leave part of this collective behind, and that's what happens when this part of this collective dies, this bodysuit dies. The, the bodysuit opts, that part of the consciousness collective decides to stay here and do something else or become physical again in someone else's bodysuit, whereas the other aspect of you, part of the collective, that is uh, more what you would call soul, decides that they want to go on and do something else. That's all group of people that come together, get something done, decide don't want to do it anymore, or the job's done, and they decide to move on, split up, move on. But understand, you are a collective of those bits and particles, of those molecules that I was talking about the previous uh, video the Dr. Emoto was talking about that can be changed with your intent. Your intent comes about with the input from all of the consciousnesses that are part of this experience on every level. They talk about the emotional body, the pain body, the, I don't know, I think there's a, there's 7, 8, 13, but there's a lot more than what they think. So all of these ex parts of this experience feed in to where you are going to vibrate. But you have asked me, you've called me into your house. I didn't go and say, you click my button. You clicked the button on this video so that you could hear this to focus your collect collective to either disagree or agree with it to move in one direction or another. But whatever way you're triggered to move based on what you're hearing from me, you decided to reach out and find these words from me. That was an agreement between you and me. 
long time before you came here for this to happen outside of time space. Not times, outside of time space. Okay, so as you're moving and collecting, now you know about quantum mechanics, that you, your intent, collapses, we'll say collapses, on a moment of timeline based on what you believe will happen. And now you're going to do that differently by being happier and happier, believing the possibility, the knowing that you can go to a vibration that is different, that is happier, that is cleaner earth, that is more freedom. You can do that. That you understand with Dr. Emoto's work with water, that there's so much water in your body and you know that you can control that. Whether you understand the consciousness of each molecule and beyond, doesn't really matter. You've seen Dr. Emoto's work. You know that by saying negative things, you're going to lower the vibration on you and everyone around you by raising your vibration because there's water everywhere, that you will clean it up and, it, and you will be taking your vibration to a different place. Maybe you don't know where it is, but we can assume that it's going to be a better place than what you're at now if you're happier and happier. Give it a try. See if it doesn't work. See if happier and happier doesn't take you to happier and happier experiences. I guarantee you it will. Okay? Alright, guys. That's enough for me. Huge hugs. I love you so much. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.